evening, and welcome to Looney Legend. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, wherein Snow White was proclaimed fairest in all the land, much to the dismay of a wicked queen who poisoned an apple, gave it to a witch, and told her to give it to Snow White. After taking a bite of the apple, Snow White was cast into a spell of eternal sleep, a spell that could only be broken if a handsome prince would kiss her. While under the spell, Snow White was cared for by a family of dwarves. Well, little be known to most people, in a certain ethnic country, at the very same time, a similar story was taking place. This, then, is tonight's loony legend. Okay, Mr. Hall, I think we're just about ready for surgery. This is Dr. Rinaldi. He will Hi, be doctor. assisting. Uh, how do you feel? I feel fine, but... Uh, uh, is there something wrong? Yeah, I was reading in the paper uh, today that your hospital has cut way back on their costs. Uh, Mr. And, Hall... Well, I'm a bit worried. Please, don't worry. Our cutbacks will in no way affect the quality of your operation, so just relax. Okay. I guess we're about ready for surgery, aren't we? Okay. Ah! Oh, who's that? Oh, this is... Dr. Deacon, he's our anesthesiologist. <laughs> Hi, Bob Wells here for M&M's, America's favorite chocolates. Favorite for two reasons. One, it tastes great. And second, you have no chocolate mess like you do from other candies. M&M's melt in your mouth, not in your hand. These two men have been holding chocolate candies in their hands for over two minutes now, eating this candy as they normally would for this on-the-spot demonstration. Now, man A has been holding brand X, and man B is is holding the M and N's. Okay, now for the test. Let's look at Man A's hands. Oh, yoya! Yeah. Look at that mess. Now let's look at Man B's hands that are holding the M and N's. Aha! Uh -huh. On the spot, proof positive that M and N's melt in your mouth, not in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Obscurity Records proudly presents the singing sensation who will touch your heart with his music, Slim Whiskey. Oh, Rose. 
Just one of your many favorites that has laid dormant over the years. I'm sure many of y'all will remember. In heaven, there is no. Oh, uh, yes. The sensational record album can be yours. You can enjoy all of the magic of Slim Whiskey, the local singing star who has sold over 31 records. Yes, more than Rudy Bukovic and Dave Stacy and all of Slim Whiskey's personal favorites are in the album. All the songs that I like are in this album. And they can be yours, too. For the first time on television, we're proud to offer the number one male artist in this number one record album. And if y'all order now, you will receive this all-time Slim Whiskey favorite as he asks the musical question. Moon Abaloma Blanca Just because you think you're so pretty Just because you think yes. you're so just because we'll be yours absolutely free if you order the album today. And you'll get many more favorites. She's Too Fat, In Heaven There's No Beer, and many, many more. This album can only be purchased through this television sale, so don't delay. Send $10.95, or if you don't have $10.95, send five or six bucks, whatever you can, to Slim Whitsky. Or if you happen to see Slim in person, I'm sure he'll be happy to sell y'all one out of the trunk of his car. Oh, don't delay. Send before midnight tonight. Man, <laughs> woman, <laughs> birth, <laughs> death, <laughs> infinity. <laughs> Been crazy. Yeah, you can have a seat there. Rinaldi. Well, you seem to check out pretty good this time, but I, uh, I still think we have a problem with your smoking. Now, wait a minute. You said I could have one cigarette a day. Yeah, but when I said one cigarette, I meant... This is ridiculous. It's me, Tom. Tom. Tom Hartsky, your husband. Oh, Tom. Hi. Hey, what's that noise in the background? Oh, you know, Tom, it's your bowling night tonight, and I decided to wash a bowling ball for you. I put it in the dishwasher. Oh. Well, that's what I'm calling about, Mary. Uh, I won't be home until late tonight. Uh, I ran into an old war buddy of mine from Korea, and we're going to go out and have a few drinks. Oh, Tom, that's wonderful. OK, well, listen, you have a real good time, and I'll see you later on, OK? Oh, OK, goodbye. OK, now. bye. Charlie. Hi, Mary. What's that noise in the background? Oh, I'm washing Tom's bowling ball. He was supposed to go bowling tonight, but he met an old army buddy of his from Korea, and they're going to go out and have a few drinks tonight. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Giving up his bowling night for an old war buddy from Korea. What a nice guy Tom is. You're, re you're a lucky girl, Mary. Yeah. I know, I know. Boy, I tell you, it's really good to see you again. I'll never forget that. Remember that weekend we had in Seoul? Cheers.
<laughs> well, will Tom just spend the night telling war stories? And what about Mary? Tune in next time for... can't take this. This is the payroll money for TV8. We know what that is. We've been casing this job for weeks. But just give me it. to see you. I've just been robbed. I know. I saw the whole thing. No one at TV8 is going to be paid. Matt, if I can help it. Oh, we really cleaned up. Look at all this loot. Yeah, probably half of it's got her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what's that little red blur? Oh, no, it's the little flash. Step on it. start fishing yet. Not fishing yet. It took me an hour and a half to cut a hole in that ice. That ice is really hard. Wow. Hey, you don't mind if I borrow that ice slab you just cut, do you? This? Yeah. Oh, sure. Hey, it's, it's heavy. Oh. Hey, no problem. I'm just okay. rolling out here. Here you go. Hey, thanks a lot. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. No, uh, I just work here. My name is Chuck. My name is Patty. Nice to see you, Patty. Nice to see you, Chuck. I see that you have Irish whiskey here. Yes, we do. What will you have? I'll have two shots of your finest Irish whiskey. Two shots. Okay. 
Here you go, Patty. Tell me, you always drink two shots? I do, sir. This one is for me. Huh? And this one is for my dear brother in Ireland to his health. Thank you, Chuck. I've got to be going. Good night to you. Keep Good the night, Patty. Thank you. Come again. So what do you think of the Browns this year? They still sting. <laughs> Patty! Good to see you again. Chuck, you remembered my name. My job, Patrick. You still drinking two shots of Irish whiskey? Ah, you're good, Charles, me lad. You're <laughs> good. Here you go. Two shots of Muldoon's finest. This one's for me. Mm -hmm. Cheers. And this one's for my dear brother in Ireland. To his health. Bless you, Charles. Take care, Patty. You too. Well, well, Patty, haven't seen you for a while. Two shots coming up. Ah, ah. Just one shot, Chuck. One shot. Patty, none of my business and I don't mean to get personal, but is everything okay with your brother in Ireland? Oh, yes, he's fine. In fact, this is for him to his health. But uh, what about... What about mine? Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, I gave up drinking for Lent. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. I'm home. Not getting my beer, Argus. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mew Gibbons. I love the great out of doors. I'm gathering my breakfast. Did you know that certain parts of a pine tree are edible? and certain parts are not. <clears throat> but no matter, because there's always lots of this sage grass growing wild. It's full of vitamins and minerals and nutrition and bugs. Got some meat today. <laughs> and when you get thirsty, you can always eat some snow. But remember, boys and girls, never eat yellow snow. <laughs> like them little buggers around here. Ah, oh, here's something you don't eat. Save these little dinghies and mix them with your pipe tobacco. Makes you crazy. Did you know that pine cones ground up taste just like wild hickory nuts? Man, that ain't no pine cone. Almost made a boo-boo. <laughs> Got some horses around here. Oh, did you know that barn siding is very chewy? It's a little rough on you, though, but... Oh, a wild chicken! A wild chicken! There he is! There he is! There he is! Whoa! Whoa! Look out! He's getting away! Did you know that... Hemp rope is very chewy, and it makes an excellent tea. <laughs> and turning now to news that has a direct bearing on all of us in the television field, the economy. As you have been hearing lately, the broadcasting industry, even at the network level, has been forced into significant cutbacks in personnel. And we here at the local television level are feeling the pressure too. 
But now, as in the past, this station's policy has always been to keep our viewers as well informed as possible and not to cut back on the number of people in our newscast. And with that, we move on to Leo and the sports. Well, what happened at the old ballpark today, Leo? Ah, uh, the Indians lost another one. I'll have that and all the sports in a minute. And stay tuned. I'll be right back with the latest weather. <laughs> It often takes days to assemble the 30 actual minutes of movie break content you see each Friday night. Most of it done by Shadowski. Well, I made Chuck what he is to the now. Now, actually, we used to work on it kind of side by side, but then in about 1971, I went off on a freelance status, wasn't even in town most of the time, so eventually the whole thing got shoved, on, uh, shoved over on Chuck's shoulders. And uh, he'll go down the street and stop light well, you know, he'll think of something and, oh, hey, that's a neat idea, and write it down, and he does 99% of it now. 